untuk perbicaraan pada hari 29 hari bulan next week on Tuesday at 2 p.m. in court. Please pray. Please pray for Maria. Please pray that the legal through the legal process we can free Maria from this terrible ordeal that she has gone through. Saudara saudari. Baru-baru saya nampak I saw all of you sitting in darkness dan saya ingatlah ini ada satu tuat tanda simbolik ya yang simbolik bahawa negara kita is in darkness our country is in darkness for us there's a lot of light out there but where the people are concerned we are in darkness sebab kita ada suatu kerajaan yang zalim begitu zalim di mana mereka um, they have thrown Maria under unda, di, di bawah undang-undang yang begitu zalim juga for what? for what? there's no reason mereka kata uh, mereka pakai undang-undang 124C Penal Code iaitu aktiviti Maria dituduh untuk aktiviti detrimental to parliamentary democracy saudara-saudari menuntut untuk pilihan raya yang bersih bagaimana ia boleh menjadi suatu aktiviti yang detrimental to parliamentary democracy in fact we want to promote parliamentary democracy dan tuntutan itu from verse 1 adalah tuntutan yang sama iaitu untuk pilihan raya yang bersih it is good we all feel very much for Maria we wish Maria was here with us and you all I know you all want to do something don't you you do we do i feel it i feel it i want to do something every minute of the day that can help maria saya buat cadangan if you want to help maria honor her struggle honor her struggle for clean and fair elections saudara saudari we have a government who tells us, oh, we are elected. We are, we have mandate. Mandat daripada rakyat. Adakah mereka ada mandat? And do they have everyone's mandate, saudara saudari? And what kind of mandate is that? Through elections that are not clean. Is that a mandate, saudara saudari? Adakah itu mandate? Yang benar? Tidak. So, that is critical for our nation clean and fair elections so to honor what maria has struggled for we must still keep fighting every day not just for maria but for free and fair elections saudara saudari and one of the things i must tell you i'm going to say this every day when i speak to you there are other lebih daripada empat how many? 4.7 million, 4.7 juta rakyat yang belum lagi mendaftar sebagai pengundi. Bolehkah kita terima situasi seperti itu? So what are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? Can you do anything? Boleh? Can you do something? Ask your family first. Have you all registered by the way? Everybody? Make sure your friends, your family, and everyone are registered. Most of the 4.7 million, by the way, are those under 25. Now that is the group we must reach. Even if, if Sparrow, even if half of them, Mandafta, we can bring change in this country, Saudara Saudari. And let me tell you, they're not making it easy for us to register, yeah? Very difficult to get forms, etc., etc., but persevere. Take them to the post office. 
make sure they are registered, Saudara Saudari. It is not only our duty, it is also a responsibility. Tanggung jawab kita sebagai rakyat negara ini. Saudara Saudari, we have... Look, look around you, just look around you what a beautiful country we have. And that's why we are here. They forget, mereka lupa bahawa kita, rakyat, cinta negara kita ini. We love our country and that's why we are here. And no one can love the country more than Maria. Not just that she loves it, she does so much for this country, Saudara Saudari. And they dare to call someone who is a true patriot, who loves her country. I can tell you, none of those people up there have done half of what Maria has in the interest of this country, Saudara Saudari. Not even half, not even 10%. And they dare, they dare to say what Maria is doing is against democracy. Sorry, what you are doing is against democracy. What they are doing is against democracy. They are the ones who are carrying out activities detrimental to parliamentary democracy, Saudara Saudari. It is incumbent on us because we love this country so much. We must make sure it is in the right hands. It is not in the right hands at this point. Unfortunately, they say they have the mandate of the people through elections that are not free and fair. Actually, if I were them, I wouldn't say that. Really, embarrassing. Tetapi, the problem is they don't embarrass easily. So, you know, they carry on saying these things. We have the mandate, thick skin. Yeah. Hey. That's quite different, yes. Yeah. So, so this is the problem. This is the problem that we have. So what is the second tuntutan of Bursi? Anyone can tell me? It's on the back of your t-shirts. Kerajaan Bursi. That is something that is critical to us. You heard Cynthia just now. 1MDB is not the first episode of Raswa. We've had others. They have a lot of experience, lah. Okay? They keep getting better and better at it, basically. Not at governance. Not at looking after the people. Toll night, harga barang night, petrol night, cooking oil night. The only thing that is turun, nilai ringgit. Wow, that's really diving, okay? That's really diving. And it is going to affect us. And that's why I want to know, with what heart can our leaders go on flashy holidays, travel around the world, while the people here are suffering, Saudara Saudari? You know what the problem is? They've just been there for too long. They've just been there for too long. And that is the change we must bring. We want pemimpin yang bertanggung jawab. Pemimpin yang mencintai negara. And rakyat. Who put the rakyat first? We would like to tell our children. For example, if you had a leader but like Mandela, you would say to your child, be like this leader. But we have to tell our children, please don't be like our leaders. Please don't grow up like them. That's the example they are setting. Switch off the TV, don't show them. Our children, don't expose them. That's the kind of existence we all have right now, Saudara Saudari. But you know what? As I said, you were sitting in darkness just now. But there is so much light. The light is there. And that light is you. That light is in you. The fact that you have so much compassion for Maria, and we all do, 
shows how much goodness there is in this country, Saudara Saudari. And I can tell you, there, Maria is all goodness. She has only fought for this country. And I said this yesterday, as long as I know her, Mandib, I think I'm right. As long as I've known her, she's driven that Gen 2 car by herself from town to town on Bursay 5 convoy, which was a genius move, and I congratulate the uh, Bursay steering committee. Brilliant move. really made the difference. And Maria was out every day, morning, tonight, I remember. And that's why they are so afraid of Maria Chin Abdullah. Because they, everywhere we went, people received us. And you know what? I don't think any of our leaders now will ever get the reception that Maria Chin Abdullah will get with the people. And that's why the people are the best judge. This is the court, the people's court, which matters the most, Saudara Saudari. With that, we must continue to pray. Please pray for all of us, for those who are trying to help Maria, for Maria, of course, and we must keep the faith. We must be strong, because I know Maria is strong. I can't bear the thought of what Maria is going through, but I also know that she has inner strength that will keep her going. And we pray that her family have that same inner strength. I think they do. As I said the other day, Maria Chin can be proud of her sons, and her sons can be proud of their mother. What a mother. What a mother she is. And Mandip has grown up with Maria, almost like her son, I think. And that's why I have to keep calming him down and, and telling him, don't be upset. Because for Maria, there's no difference in people. She doesn't see any difference. She treats everyone the same. That is a true leader, not the leaders that we have, who are constantly trying to separate us. And finally, I will say this. Mereka cuba menghalang berselima saudara-saudari, tetapi mereka tidak berjaya. Yang berjaya ialah berselima. We succeeded, but not just in getting the message of Berse across. We also succeeded in showing that we reject Budaya something. That's why we came out, because we wanted to say we reject Budaya something, and we are not afraid of you. That's what the message was that day. They tried to frighten us off. Were we scared? No! Takut ke kita? No! Because we have each other, Saudara Saudari. And that way, this is the way in which we are going to make the difference in this country, Saudara Saudari. And we can. Can we? Yes! Yes, we can? Yes! Yes, we can? Yes! Thank you.